the more you fear for your survival, and I say this with as much compassion as possible, that holds so tightly to not failing and being like not trying to look at a potential failure, trying to withhold all the fear of survival by just trying the same thing over and over and like not getting a message uh, of it not working at a certain point versus not fearing the survival, allowing the failure to occur, letting it go, allowing a blank slate, and actually listening to where the passion actually wants to go versus constantly battling the survival. So it's like fr from a different angle, you're fighting survival which is like, can't fail, can't die. And when those are the two directives and you have this whatever entrepreneurial venture that works, doesn't work, hasn't worked, isn't working, struggling, clawing, trying, fighting it, just it's not flowing well. The survival battle is try harder, keep digging, try that. Like it, it's it's a trying exercise. And, but the approach, the intention is to do it in order to keep away a fear. So if the business or entrepreneurial venture project, whatever it is, is tanking, is downward ding, downward spiraling. And it just, it's not staying afloat. It's not getting traction. It, it's not moving. It's stuck. This is just in a, a entrepreneurial lens for, you know, the stuck, the stuck business or the stuck project. If the operating system is fighting survival, which is the resistance of failure, the resistance to death. That tension is what clogs all the passion. That's what stuck is, is the fear is running the show, but you think you're defending yourself from what the fear is in the future that is possible that you're trying to withhold at bay and that's what you're using your energy for and so that mindset that attachment that drive to it it's not efficient because the energy the passion is actually being used to fend off everything that you're afraid of instead of putting the soul where you actually are designed to create. And so that impurity in the fuel is, is lowering the performance on everything across the board because it's all being poured into what quote unquote you deem from control can't happen. It it is failure is not allowed to happen. Death is not allowed to happen. That's the directive. That's the last thing in the world that the operating system is 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 dictating the the pace, dictating the the usage of resources towards. But when you assess that fear from a fresh perspective and you you look at what the fear is and you loosen the grip of it being allowed as a possibility for a second 
doesn't necessarily need to be forever, but the conscious evolution here is for a moment, can you create a space in which fear, any fear, is allowed to be a possibility? Because when you're fighting survival, it's not. You're you're creating a, a playground where something is off limits. And that's the that's the that's the thing that's dragging. The the it, it's uh, like if there was a a line in your car that was cut, and then so the fuel was getting leaked somewhere, the fuel is going to go down so fast, and you're not going to know like you didn't drive regular amount of miles. But if you can create that space in which you can face the fear, face the monster, face the threat of impending doom, of impending failure, of impending death, and actually see it without the clawing, uh, without the arm's length fending off the the... It's like, it's like, uh, I, I, I don't have any kids, but there's animals you can, you can do this too. But like, it's like when you're holding a baby and the toddler's trying to get your attention and you're like, no, go, 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 go. Like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold, like all that, that's a lot of energy, like trying to love a baby and then also fending something off and and defending yourself uh that's that's the that's what survival is actually doing in the operating way is it makes these possibilities not allowed and then using so much energy to hold them at hold them off rather can you actually see and have the patience to slow down, to see, oh, I'm afraid of my business failing. I'm afraid of an entrepreneurial failure. And maybe that brings up that PTSD of a past one, or God, how long have I been struggling with this, or whatever the emotions are. But if you can have a space that embraces that, that just allows it for a second, then you can actually face it, listen to it, and maybe there's actual message there that is actually productive that you can actually listen to of, oh, maybe that won't be so bad. Maybe it'll be tough for a second. Maybe some shit will happen, but at the end of the day, I won't die. It's gonna be challenging, but just that step alone will lower that guard that's using so much energy that's keeping the stuckness in in the fight in the tension and the conflict it's that conflict not with the business it's the conflict with the fear of the business dying that's what's using all the resources and and when you don't use those resources Okay, then you can see that thought, the thought of the business dying. Oh man, look at all the feeling behind that. How am I gonna pay the bills? How am I gonna do this? How am I gonna live? How am I gonna, all the how, all the mind storm starts to come in. But if you're not fighting it, maybe you can game plan. Maybe you can see new ideas, see new approaches, see what your truth is of possibilities in that in that space new you, you you open up a space to listen where things can drop in where new ang you can start to change the camera angle in in time and space on what is occurring maybe it becomes less personal maybe it becomes less shameful maybe there's less guilt less judgment less negativity as you move in the space when it's finally allowed and not resisted 
and you're at a much slower, less rushed, less pressured relativity to actually see how slow, this is resisted in survival, how slow time actually moves when you're present. Because then that opens up, oh, well, if failure is not disavowed, if, if it's not off limits and you and you're getting a message like, okay, maybe it has run its course. May, like you can see clearer now. Ah, but it hasn't happened yet. There's still time. And you find yourself in a middle in the space between two thoughts. Instead of it being conglommed into one fear, now all of a sudden you're here today. And maybe the failure isn't as imminent as you thought. Maybe it's in a few weeks, a few months, and but you're not resisting it. You're not fighting it anymore. And you're thinking clearer. You're feeling clearer with the space in between. And that change in operation from fear to love all of a sudden opens up the world, it opens up the reality for new possibilities to come in, for, for love <laughs> and stillness and space. And now you're with each step, you're with each movement with more space than you thought, with more time than you thought to get into the soul of what it is that you're really feeling called to do, to really challenge survival of the fittest, the charge of it, the significance of it, given who you are and, and what, you're, what you're wielding when you're present.